Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Follow a Sketch February for February 11th. Now this is the sketch for today. Of course you can access this sketch by going to the Scrapping Reflections Facebook group. It is a two, two or three photo sketch. I'm going to use two and it's by Brenda Ragsdale. So here is the sketch. I have two photos and I'm also um, going to be playing with my lovely leftovers. Not exactly sure how all of these are gonna come together because some of them together are a little bit whoa. So let's see what I can do. All right guys, so I have my pile of lovely leftovers and I also went into my stash and I found this paper. Now it is full of different color circles and this is actually a Cartabella paper and it is called Hoppy Halloween. It is All Hallows Eve. So this is a 2019 paper. And when I bought the paper, I definitely bought it for the multicolored circles. I just never knew in my wildest dreams that I would use this uh, circle paper for a gas station layout. How weird is that? So this is a Bucky's gas station in Texas. Uh, it is the Bucky's that I went into uh, when I was driving back from the retreat to the airport to fly home. So it was an experience, let me just tell you. I loved this gas station. <laughs> I loved it. Um, okay, so I am mostly following the sketch here. I have decided that in addition to this triangle sheet of paper, I'm going to add in extra pieces of paper. Um, what I really want to do is kind of bring this background and whatever papers I'm going to use into one cohesive thought. Like I want it to look like these papers very well could have gone together. And I will tell you, I am mixing white and cream. So if that makes you cringe, I'm sorry. Uh, but to me, most of the time, white and cream are just two different colors and colors are made to be mixed. <laughs> so here we are. Um, like I said, most of the time, there are some times where I don't want my white and cream to mix and match. So I totally feel you if you're going sandy. I hate the fact that you mixed white and cream on this layout. So as you can see, I cut down those uh, squares right there or rectangles and have them poking out from that triangle piece of paper. Now in the sketch, there is a tag there. I actually ignore that and don't put any tags on the layout whatsoever. And I also flip flop where the uh, journaling card and the photo are on that bottom layer of the sketch. And that's because my truck is pointing to the left and my card says this was awesome and it has an arrow pointing to the right. So instead of them looking like they are back to back from each other, I wanted it to look like it was going uh, towards, each other, towards each other so you would totally understand that this was awesome and that little teeny arrow is pointing to that big old photo. So I am going to use some khaki colored paper right here. Now this does have arrows printed on it. Unfortunately, once I put my journaling card over top of those khaki colored arrows, you can't really tell that they're arrows anymore. Um, but the color is there and that uh, is kind of what matters. So that is nice and finished now. Now I am gonna pull up the pieces of paper that I have tucked under that triangle piece. Um, and that's because my photo ends up uh, covering up that top line of it. And I want my photo to be underneath of the top line. And you'll see what I mean once I get my photo matted. So I do mat this photo on black cardstock. Now on that circle paper, it's almost black. It's a very deep, dark gray. It's almost black, but it's not truly a deep, dark black color. Um, so what this does is it allows that one Bucky's photo that's right there, even though it's a smaller photo and it's kind of off to the left, that black cardstock is going to draw your eye to it. And it's going to be like, look at me and look at this photo, which I definitely want to happen. So now I am going to get that little bit of embellishment that's in that upper right hand corner. Now my embellishment, I'm going to flip 
this as well. Um, in the sketch, the larger part of the embellishment is on the left-hand side, and I am going to place mine on the right. And I do that because I think it balances better with how I have my layout positioned. Because, like I said, I have, I have veered off from the sketch a little bit, and that is perfectly okay because I am making the sketch work for me and my photos. So I pull out my LA Studio die cuts. These come in with my LA Studio monthly kit. Um, I get some 3x4 cards, some 4x6 cards, and these die cuts each month. Um, really super cheap. It's 10 bucks a month and like great quality products really usable products because there isn't a lot of handwriting on them, other people's handwriting, which totally makes these products a thousand percent more usable than somebody's with someone's handwriting on them. Especially for me because I don't like a lot of other people's handwriting in my albums. And that might seem weird. I don't even, um, I don't even want my family's handwriting in my albums and I probably just offend it 28.6% of you guys, but they're my albums and I want my handwriting in them and not anyone else's. So back in the day when it used to be big challenges, get your spouse to write, get your kids to write, get your, and put that in the albums. I never really liked those challenges because I never really wanted anyone else's handwriting in my albums because they're mine. <laughs> so yeah. Um, yeah, if you've never if you've never heard my album philosophy, I'm not making my albums for the future generations. I'm making my albums for me. And when I croak, if the kids burn them all in a bonfire, I could care less. Like I'm going to be gone doesn't matter to me. So that's my philosophy in a nutshell. Um now, <laughs> now that I've said those things, I'm going to use my Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive to put down some flat back rhinestones. I went ahead and chose to use the yellow ones because I've got these little pops of yellow now throughout the layout. And the yellow is not a color that is in that background paper. It is something that I brought in to the layout to give me an extra bit of pop. Um, and this is one of those rare times where I am getting colors from my photos. Uh, because the Bucky's um, circle is that nice bright yellow, I decided to bring that yellow color in. Like I said, I'm not big on pulling colors out of my photos, but this time there was something. So there are no rules in scrapbooking and no rules for myself. Even my own rules where I don't pull colors out of photos, I break them because there are no rules in scrapbooking. So I'm going to go ahead and put these white foam letter stickers down and they spell out the word love. I'm going to grab some khaki tile stickers and spell out gas station because Bucky's is ultimately a gas station and it's going to say gas station love. Now I will tell you guys I do not have any more capital T's in either one of these khaki uh, tile stickers. So I do take a number one and a white gel pen and just put the top part of the T. So it says gas station love. Now that little uh, die cut, the little banner die cut thing that's over on top of the Bucky's photo says favorite because I gotta say if I had to pick a favorite gas station, you guys, it's gonna be this one. Um, yeah. That's, that's really what I got to say about that. Now, because I titled this Gas Station Love, I felt like I should bring in some hearts. So I have these puffy hearts from LA Studio. Now these, the ones that I'm using right now have hearts and stars, and they were actually in their Disney-esque collection. I don't remember what they called it. Magical moments something. I don't know. Magical memories, maybe. I don't know. Magical something. Um, but I thought that those colors worked well with what I had going on here. So I'm going to go ahead and pop some of those down. And then I have these little flat, tiny gold hearts. And I'm going to sprinkle those around the page as well. I turn off the camera for the journaling, but the journaling says... 
The Bucky's was truly awesome. I could have spent hours in there looking at everything. So many cool things to shop for, like a grunt style hoodie for Christopher and even to eat, like a breakfast brisket taco for me. I never thought I'd say this, but I want to go back to the gas station. So that is the journaling that went on that This Is Awesome card. And you will see that in the photos coming up here shortly. So guys, make sure that you join the Scrapping Reflections Facebook group so you can uh, check out the sketches and play along with Follow a Sketch February. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.